Welcome everybody to Nine's Corner. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Nina. And if you're on your way back, thank you very much, friend. So, I'm just going to straight out give a trigger warning. If you have any issues talking about death, dying, or suicide, turn off the video and we can see each other on the next video. And for those who wish to proceed, we are going to be talking about the number of suicides that have happened with the police that were part of the insurrection on January 6th. I had somebody send me a question and I thought, yes, it's an important um, conversation to have. It's one of the few subjects that are still taboo to people and there's a lot of harsh feelings, strong feelings, and I just want to come from my perspective and to do a reading, you know, about that. So. In the meantime, I would like to say that when it comes to suicide and somebody passes away, you have to understand that once we pass away, you're no longer a teacher or a lawyer or a singer or a, a tarot card reader. When we leave, we leave all the ego and all the human stuff behind and we become energy and energy is all equal nobody's better nobody's worse nobody's greater nobody's less than I had an incident when I was 15 years old when that was that was the alternative for me and I can promise you that I wasn't thinking about others my mother my father you know nothing I was just wanting for everything to stop. I didn't want to feel the fear. I didn't want to feel the pain anymore. And I knew as sure as I sit here to you right now that God was with me and that during the hardest time of my life, God truly carried me. I have worked as a PCA working with Alzheimer's patients and specializing in palliative care. I can't tell you how many people I saw be comforted by their loved ones that had passed away. I can't tell you how or why they come. Doctors will say that we imagine it, imagine it. Some will say that it's part of our dying process of our brain. But regardless, does it matter? There's comfort. There's something more. And I watched mothers hold their children that had been passed away. I watched my own father talk to people that were passed away. And one of the things that I really, really noticed was that once people start seeing their loved ones that had passed away, it's not very long before they themselves pass away. But if for no other reason, if you've listened to what I've said so far, I hope you know that if you're afraid, if you feel like you're at the end of your rope, there is hope, there is places to go, thing, people to call, there's suicide lines, there's your doctor, there's medicine that can help you. There's so much out there, so much. So don't let go. Life is circular, circular forgive me, and like the fool. The fool can show up in any part of the tarot reading. The fool has no number. And guess what? We're the fools. We're the spirit that goes through these processes. But we never lose ourselves. So don't judge and don't judge others. Just be there to help. So we're going to do the reading for the poor police officers who, who as a group, have been taking their lives I'd like to know, is this part of the trend? Because I did some research and police officers over the last several years, the number of suicides have increased astronomically. Um, I think it's pretty correlated with, you know, the environment that the world has turned into since the time of Trump or since the beginning of Trump. So I'd like to look into it and see is you know some people are feeling something nefarious might be happening or is this just part of the trend because why would there be such a group and so many so oh, one card just flew out so I'll put that card we'll use that all right let's look at the past 
leading up to the suicides, the suicides themselves, and what's going to happen afterwards. All right. What happened to the police officers that were involved in the January 6th insurrection and why are they as a group second card filled out? Okay. Leading up to the suicide after the suicide and why? I want to know the overall reason why. Sorry guys, I just I just want to take my time with this one. So, the first two, two cards leading up to you have the star. There was this loss of faith, a loss of hope. 8 of wands just quick action out of nowhere not expect it things were set into motion that had to happen but you know with the eight of wands it shows that there's somebody who's responsible dear when i look at leading up to it the first card i got out was death Transformation. Second card, Nine of Wands, defending themselves, staying on course, staying on the path. <sighs> These men were tortured. They knew too much. They had information. We've got afterwards the Eight of Swords, oppression. They felt so demeaned. They felt so lost. And I'm sure they had PTSD. It was choking them. The fear is choking them. And the result is the Hermit. Or sorry, the Hierophant. That has to deal with organizations, foundations, government. You know, whether the government was part of it or not, they are responsible. The reason why these men killed themselves was because of what they experienced on January 6th. Judgment card. Part of something that had to happen And I, we're going to hear of others, the police force and their structure. It's not working for today's society. So there's this push and pull because people want police officers and of course we have to have rules, but at the same time we're realizing how mental health is the driver of so many issues and that when it comes to the police force yes you want police but you also want police that have knowledge and understanding about mental illness and how to deal with it because we're losing far too many people one of the most important things that we can do to help as a society is not just you know checking on your family and friends that's all important but to stop making mental health and suicide this taboo situation this taboo subject that we can't talk about it's important because if you know somebody's experienced it, you don't feel alone. And believe me, you, there's more out there that are in pain and suffering and who have probably never thought like, oh, I'm going to commit suicide, but probably thought, oh God, I wish I was dead. I mean, who hasn't said that? So let's not judge each other. Let's not judge what will happen to us after death. That's for God, the universe, or whatever you believe. That's for that. Not for us. So my dear friends, I know it was a heavy subject matter, but I truly believe it's important. And as always, I have our unity candle lit for each and every one of us. And a special 
message to those who are lost or feeling at the end of it. Don't let go. All right, till we speak again. Cheerio.